In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WooCommerce tax exempt coupon code in just a few simple steps. So this is perfect if you sell one off products and you don't want to have your customers to have to create an account and sign up, log into their account to receive this tax exemption status. It's just a lot more simpler to send them a tax exempt coupon code. So I'll show you how to do that in just a few simple steps. Okay, so here we are on our demo store. So I've added a few items to cart. So I've already created a tax exemption coupon code ahead of time. Okay, so if we scroll down here that we can see the current tax on this particular shopping cart is 20% and we've been charged 59 pounds. So if we enter in our tax exempt coupon code, then it hopefully all the tax should be exempt. So let's go ahead and enter in our coupon code here. Let's go ahead and hit apply coupon. And there you can see we've removed the tax from our basket. Okay, so if you wanna create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store, then the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download the WooCommerce tax exempt plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. So once you've downloaded a plugin, you just go ahead and navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. So the second step is to create our coupon code in which we can send it to our B2B customers. So we'll navigate to marketing and then coupons and then we'll create our coupon code. So I've already created one here. I'll create one more just to this example. So we just click add a coupon. Okay. And here we can go ahead and name our coupon. So we can say and then we can just go ahead and hit publish. So it's important to note that we need to keep the coupon um, amount to zero unless you want to give your customers a discount and also give them the tax exemption as well. So in this case, I'm just going to set it to zero so they won't get any additional coupon. We'll just be removing the tax from their order. So let's go ahead and hit publish. Okay, so the third step is to head over to WooSuite and go ahead and configure our tax exemption rule. So if you haven't installed this tax exemption plugin already, then you just go ahead and navigate to add-ons and go ahead and install this tax exemption rule. Okay, so I've already created a rule here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and then I'll show you exactly how I created this rule. Okay, so the first thing, you wanna just go ahead and click add restriction here. And then we wanna give this a name. So I'm gonna name mine, um, so you just want to give it a unique name and this is just for internal purposes only so you know at a glance what each rule is for. So when you've got multiple different rules running, it'll look something like this and it just makes sense that you know exactly what each rule is for. So we've got various conditions here so we can create a tax exempt status via coupon code, via specific user, product, category, country or coupons. In our case, we're going to go ahead and select coupons. And then the rule reads coupons. So this will trigger the tax exemption via coupons. And then we just go ahead and select the coupon in which we created earlier. So if we remember, we created this tax exempt coupon. Okay. And then we just go ahead and hit save changes. The fourth and final step is to just go ahead and test out our coupon code to make sure it's functioning exactly how we intended it to. So I'm going to head back over to my cart page and I'm going to remove this coupon code. And now I'm going to add that new tax exempt coupon in which we just created. Go ahead and hit apply. Okay, so just to make sure the tax is shown here. And now when we apply this coupon code, we can see that we're fully tax exempt now. And this is ideal. So um, before we've seen users trying to hack their way into the system by creating, say, for example, if the tax was 20%, um, they'll create a 20% discount, but that just creates a, a whole mess when you, it's time to do your accounting. So it just makes sense to just do it this way. And that's how you create a tax exempt coupon code in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.